Ciao, come va? My name is Ambra and today I want to teach you how to say the letter Q in Italian. In the lesson you'll find a lot of examples so you'll improve your pronunciation but also your Italian vocabulary and learning a lot of new words. Are you ready? Let's go! This is briefly what we are gonna cover in this lesson. I'll tell you first how to pronounce the letter Q in Italian with some examples. Then I'll focus on the sound Q and show you a simple rule for when to write Q rather than C. Finally, the last part is practical and I'll give you a short activity to train your ear. So let's have a look at the letter Q first. In Italian, Q is always followed by the vowel U and you'll never find it on its own. The way you pronounce this sound is Q, Q, Q. Try to say it a couple of times. Q, Q. Let's see some examples. These are few Italian words that begin with the letter Q. Qui, qui means here. Quattro, quattro is the number four. Quando, quando is the Italian word to ask when. Questo. Questo means this. I read them again, try to repeat after me. Qui, quattro, quando, questo. In the following examples, instead, the letter Q is in the middle of the word. Aquila, aquila is the eagle. Squadra. Squadra means a team. Acqua. Acqua is the water. And tranquillo. Tranquillo means calm. Let's read them together. Aquila. Squadra. Acqua. Tranquillo. Now let's move on to the sound the Q written with the letter C rather than the letter Q. As you can see, the pronunciation is exactly the same. Q, Q. For instance, cuscino, cuscino means pillow. Cucina, cucina is the kitchen. Scusa, scusa. Is the Italian word for sorry and cugino, cugino means cousin. Cuscino, cucina, scusa, cugino. So, if these two sounds are basically the same, how do you recognize them? Good news is there's a rule that tells you exactly when you write the Q instead of C. Let's see what it is. It's pretty simple. If the vowel U is followed by another vowel, then you write Q. Whereas, in case the next letter is a consonant, then you write C. Let's clarify with a couple of examples. In the first two words, we have the letter A after the vowel U, so we write them with a Q. Quaderno. Quaderno means notebook. Squalo, squalo is the shark. Quaderno, squalo. The following two words instead are written with the letter C because the U is followed by a consonant. Cucinare, cucinare is the verb to cook. And culla, culla means cradle. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward, but of course there are some exceptions. However, to be fair, there are not many, and here I've listed the most popular ones, which are Cuore, cuore means heart, scuola, scuola is the school, cuoco, cuoco means chef, Cui, cui is an Italian pronoun that I'm gonna cover in one of my next lessons. 
So these words are all written with the letter C, even if the U is followed by a vowel. One more thing before we move on to the practical part. Remember that the letter Q is never doubled. The only word that you can find with a double Q is so quadro. So quadro. This expression a so quadro means to put things in this array upside down. Right, and now let's practice. I'm gonna read the time words, listen carefully and write down the missing letters. If you don't understand, just pause and listen again. Focus on recognizing if these words are written with a C or with a Q. Ready? Let's go. Quasi. Quasi. Quadro. Quadro. Cura. Cura. Cinque. Cinque. Curva. Curva. Liquido. Liquido. Alcuni. Alcuni. Squillo. Squillo. Pasqua. Pasqua. Scudo. Scudo. Ok, how did it go? I'm gonna read them once more while you check if you got them right. Quasi. Quasi. Means almost. Quadro. Quadro. Is a painting. Cura. Cura. Means a therapy, treatment. Cinque. Cinque. Is number five. Curva. Curva. Means bend. Liquido. Liquido. Is the Italian word for liquid. Alcuni. Alcuni. Means some. Squillo. Squillo. Is a ring. Pasqua. Pasqua. Means Easter. And scudo. Scudo. Is the shield. And this is all about the letter Q in Italian. Please subscribe to my channel and give me a like if you enjoyed this video. I also have other videos in this channel to help you improve your Italian pronunciation, so make sure you check them out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Ciao!